Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today we are going to learn how to modify the Fat Shark goggles. Uh, there is two reasons why you might want to modify this. Reason number one is you just got yourself a brand new True DX, or possibly you got yourself a brand new Rapid Fire. If you did, then you are probably going to want to modify your goggles. The alternative to modifying your goggles is, and it's not a big deal, you just open up your package, you pull out this little uh, ribbon cable you got here, and you'll plug it in on one side of the goggle into the module, and then you'll plug it in the other side with this little adapter that they give you in here. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow enough voltage over to power your new module. Now, if you don't want this stupid wire on the front of your goggles, or you already have it and you want to get rid of it, or you've cracked open your goggles and you put it inside and you pinched it and you cut it and you messed it up and, oh, just the frustration. You don't want to deal with it. What you want to do is you want to modify your goggles. You want to enjoy your rapid fire or your new Furious True DX without any complications. Then this is the video for you. And the name of this modification is the L1 and L10 modification. That is what we are going to do to the goggles. Now, sometimes you can get away with just doing L1, and sometimes you can get away with just doing L10. What we're going to do is we're going to just do both, and we're going to be done with it. We're not going to do it two or three times. I don't want to crack the goggles open more times than I have to. So I'm going to crack it open one time. I'm going to do both mods, and you're going to be good to go. So stay tuned. All right, pilots, so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and get this, uh, get everything removed. If you have a module currently, get it taken off and out of the way. If you don't have a module, then just wait for me to finish taking mine off. There you go. All right, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get your goggle straps out of the way. Okay. All right, take all that stuff. Don't lose it. Don't mess it up. Just set it to the side for now. All right, pilot. So go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to find mine. All right, once you have that, there are a couple screws here we need to take out. Go ahead and take those out. I want you guys to remember this is not a rush. This is not a race. This needs to be done right. Take your time. Now, once you get those three screws out, there's still one more step. So don't don't go jumping the gun. I'm going to show you real quick. And it's, it's not a big deal, but we want to get it done just because. And that is to go ahead and pop out your SD card. Get that out of the way so nothing bad happens. All right, now... You should have those three screws out. Okay, there we go. So that's three for me. Hopefully you got your three out. And the very next thing we're going to do is we are going to pop this off. And don't let this scare you because I know it probably will depending on your goggles. Just work one side and then work the other side nice and easy. You see what I'm doing? taking my time and I don't, I don't want to break it but we're gonna pop that off and it should you should now look like this alright now set this aside because we don't need it right now now this part here do not go crazy I'm gonna get you guys in closer take your time and crack this open another thing too is let me zoom out a tad bit I want to tell you this don't open it like this because when we crack open you're going to have some stuff going that way some stuff going that way that's not what we want to do we want to lay it flat whether you're going down or up at this point it doesn't really matter and then separate that way everything oh and if you still have this on take it off and to the guys that have skins if you have a skin on your goggles uh you may uh, you may i've done it before you may be able to just let it fold right here and you won't lose the skin uh, you may end up with a crease or a line or you can be extra careful maybe pull it off but if you do screw it up it's not the end of the world it's 15 bucks order a new skin hey why not it's time to switch it up and get a new style anyways but if you mess up the goggles then you're out big time so don't worry about the skin as much as you need to worry about your goggles 
All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to separate the actual goggles. So, take your time and work it, girl. All right, I am opening mine now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it at the bottom. Oh, I actually want to be this way. So, you can copy that and keep yours down if you'd like. Be ever so gentle, please. There's ribbon cables everywhere. There's just just everything everywhere. So, be easy, okay? All right, pilot. So, let's go ahead and we're going to head for the L1 first. So, I'm going to zoom you in here. It's right here in this corner. And I want you to go ahead and grab this PCB board and just get it out ever so gently. All right, now, kind of get your goggles out of the way. You have a ribbon cable here. Ribbon cables are very sensitive, so be careful with that. Now, let me go ahead and get my eyes on this. And there it is. So, this is going to be the first portion of the mod. It's going to be right here. Let me get you guys in here so you can see it. The other thing we want to do is we want to find something very gentle but with a little bit of weight to it and we're going to hold down our board. Okay? Now, can you see that? That right there is L1. That is the very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to remove L1. So, stand by. I'm going to get you guys in a little bit closer. All right, pilot, so now you've gotten that board out, you've gotten it set up, you're ready to go. You have focused in on L1, and you can confirm it because it's been labeled. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of solder, so that way we got some kind of flow. And just like that, she's gone. All right, so this one is very small, very compact, very close. You have you have two options. I would think the better way to do it would be to bridge a wire across, but there's nothing wrong with putting a bead of solder. So that's what I'm going to do, or at least I'm going to attempt it. If it doesn't go well, I will. Oh, see, she's giving me a hard time. All right, so we got a little fat ball of solder, and all we're doing is we are letting power run from one into the next. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be beautiful. The only thing you need to be sure of is that it's not touching anything else. And in this, I can tell that mine is not, so I am good to go. Alright pilots, now we are headed for L10. Make sure you are very gentle with this still. Get back out your Phillips and we're going to pull these two screws right here. Ever so gently. Set them separate with the other two screws so you don't mix up which two are for which and blah, blah, blah. Pop her out. Be very, very gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And there she is, L10. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into it for you guys so you can see what's going on. All right, so as you can see here, L10, we are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to remove this, and we are going to straight solder. You can use a wire. Use whatever makes you happy. All right, so now that I've flung that off, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm 
pads are now clean. Let's wipe off the extra. And then we're going to put a little bit of solder on each pad. Be careful because you have a lot of resistors right there and the last thing you want to do is hit some of those so be extra careful. Alright now go ahead and find yourself uh, a little piece of wire. I'm going to go ahead and just use a little bit of this blue wire here. Hopefully it is not too big. Let's get a piece of wire and strip it like this and then go ahead and tin it. Alright, after you've done that, figure out your length. And if you want to do it a little bit smarter, I should say, go ahead and pin one side first. Nothing wrong with that. And now everything's being held up and supported by that bead of solder. I'm not trying to fight myself with a pair of tweezers. I'll nick that, and then I'll go ahead and I'll solder down this side there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is freaking amazing now let's go ahead and zoom out and the next thing I want to do is I want to get this put back in be easy on that be super super easy on that ribbon cable you mess that up um, I actually don't have a video to fix that so you'd be on your own probably have to contact fat shark and get a new get a new ribbon that wouldn't be any fun get you guys in here alright so now we're just gonna put back together oh We're going to put back together the goggles. I got both screws back in. Make sure they're nice and tight. Next thing I'm going to do, let me pull you guys out, is we're going to drop this back in. Alright, so make sure that you line this back up right in the track. Once you're back in the track, you should hear a little clip. You can look on the other side and make sure that it's popped through. I won't show you because... Alright, fine. See, it's popped through. That lets me know that I made it. And then at that point, you should be ready to click a roo. There you go. All right. All right. We're going to go ahead and put the three screws back in make sure you're putting the screws all the way down but don't over tighten them keep in mind you're just tightening plastic together Okay, so we now have goggles again. The only thing left to do is to put your your new module in. You probably have a uh, Rapid Fire or a True DX. Doesn't matter. Go ahead and pop that guy in. Be careful on the pins. And then after you pop that in, go ahead and plug in power. And when you plug in power, and this pops up. Go over to your voltage and see what you're getting. Make sure that you're getting the voltage that you need. You don't want it locking you out because you're not getting enough voltage. Voila. Alright guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. Go ahead, hit the like, subscribe. Don't if you don't. Do if you do. Don't really care. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.